Hey, welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to show you what a day in the life is like as a clinical psychology student. I'm in the first of my five years of my PhD program, and here I am starting off the morning with a run. Where clinical psychology is all about our mental and emotional health, I find it really helpful to get a workout in to start the day. As we know, the mind-body connection is real, and our physical health ultimately affects our mental health and vice versa. There was a period in my life where I was taking medication for my mental health, but I found with developing better habits through behavioral interventions such as taking supplements, focusing on nutrition, getting better sleep, exercise, and so on, that I didn't really need them anymore. So what I'm taking here are my daily green supplement that includes a whole bunch of greens, mushrooms, probiotics, etc. I've also got some Gatorade to replenish my glycogen stores after a run, some electrolyte water for hydration, and finally some oats with protein batter just for breakfast and post-run fuel. So I decided to voice this part over instead. It's just a quick little rundown of how the day's gonna go. You can pause the video here if you'd like to take a look at the schedule for the day. But here right now it's 8 a.m. and I'm just about to head out for the day. And dress in academia appropriate, yet casual enough to be able to ride a bike as this is the first part of my hour and a half commute. It takes about 15 minutes to ride my bike to the station which actually is very pleasant unless it rains, as it will later. I get to pass by Barclay Center, which is a nice reminder that I live in New York. It's pretty incredible to be here. Never thought I'd be, but here we are. Hey, hey, so I'm on the train now on the way to school. It is a one hour commute. Usually I do a little bit of work on the train. I do some coding for my labs, typically some homework that doesn't require too, too much thinking, I suppose. Today I'm working on a presentation that I'm gonna be presenting in my lab meeting later. My whole commute is an hour and a half and I'm on the train for an hour each time. So that's twice a day. So I'm on the train for two hours a day. But the good thing is I'm only commuting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays to school, and Thursdays and Fridays I typically work from home, or I have to go into the hospital sometimes on Fridays. Last leg of the trip to school, 15 minutes, and we're there. First thing we're doing today is a patient intake in which I will let Dustin, my friend and colleague, explain how it goes. So can you tell us a little bit about what we're doing today? Yeah, we're doing an intake for a kid with ADHD to see if we can get him some therapy here. How does this work? Yeah, so today we're going to interview the parents just to get some information. And then next week we're going to do some play therapy. Well, Brian's going to do some play therapy with our little kiddo and get some information from him. What's it like being a clinical psychology student? You're tired all the time. Uh, what's your favorite thing about being a clinical psychology student? My classmates. Wow, how sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the intake went well. It lasted from 10 to 11, but for obvious reasons, it couldn't be filmed. And right afterwards, I had my research lab meeting where I presented the first draft of my research study that I'll be presenting later this summer at a conference in Ottawa. My program has a pretty equal focus between research and clinical work, and I'm lucky to have the opportunity to do both, which is super important because five years is a long time and this is the time to develop your clinical skills, your research skills, and things can change. I initially started school wanting to be both an academic and a clinician, but as things have settled, I find myself leaning more towards clinical work. All right, meeting is over and it's finally lunchtime. Today I only have 13 minutes to eat my lunch before my next meeting, so it's really important to pack a lunch and just have that prepared beforehand. Meanwhile, I'm just reviewing the article that we're going to be going over in the next meeting. I'm typically not this busy, but unfortunately there's no breaks today. Between 1 and 2, we discuss our group presentation for next week on statistics, but we also find some time to talk about our favorite psychoanalytic theories. And for the last class of today, between 2 and 5, I had statistics, which went as good as statistics could go. It is just past 5 o'clock right now, and I just got off school, and here begins the hour and a half home. It's been a long day. Yeah, I'm tired. 
looking back on this day, dang. It's quite a busy day. With enough of these days stacked up, makes a pretty productive year. All right, so that wraps up a day in the life. Just about 6.30 right now, about to have dinner and just call it a day. It's been a long day. I hope this was somewhat interesting. If you got any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in the next one.